bottom of the six here again, back again. Um, yeah, I still have people outside brainwashing me. Douchebags. But anyway, also, no news. I saw a mail, like, day before yesterday, a mail guy came, same vehicle. I don't know, same vehicle. Looked at my mailbox, put a mail in there. I went to check it out after I finished shoveling. There was a mail in there. And did the same thing again yesterday. Opened my mailbox. I don't know why they opened my mailbox, but left out. I was, they didn't see me outside, but I looked at them. Or maybe they did. I looked right at them, too. And then I went off, came back, checked my mailbox, and my mail is completely gone. Uh, if they would have no reason to open my mailbox, look at it and open it or whatever, whatever they were trying to do or not, it's still legal. But anyway, I'm going to get into the subject of some electronics. I'm going to make a freaking, or maybe it was the post of Libra, or maybe some douchebag down the street or something driving the same, or maybe some douchebag in another era. This is the, I don't know. 15 billion state that have happened to me before. Last time it happened in apartment complex, I had to need a guy in his spinal cord. I don't need to punch you to break you. I have other objects. But anyway. But um I'm gonna make a um a dental thing where it is have a six hundred grit or a soft grit enough to put on teeth but hard enough to scrape plaque off. I don't know that but the difference between the using a a brace material to brush teeth or a water jet to brush teeth is how far the embracing from water jet can go. Water jet seems to be better because it can spray further back but it doesn't get into the gum lining. It goes on top of it and it causes if you got bad gums it can cause a lot of bleeding, which I need if I that's the case, I need to make a section cap to take out the blood. But if you're using abrasive, it won't go in the gum line out, but that's kind of what you want and kind of what you don't, if you don't have a section line. Uh, but electronic-wise, this is clippers and stuff. It causes vib clippers work by extreme vibration, sitting in a small area, and the joints are movable by a certain leverage, which is this right here, which causes the clippers to bounce back. This is the neutral wire, and this is the hot wire. I think I bought it, no, actually I bought it online. Usually this be white and green or whatever, but the red one is hot and the black one is neutral. AKA, the red one kills the live electrons, the black one kills the dead one. So white is live, green is dead. And if it was grounded, it would be nothing at all, just in case. But anyway, you can call this the transformer, transformer or a vibrator, and these are the coils for the adjustment for the clippers. There's two of them. What's the other one? Whatever. If you see the green thing right here, there's two coils. So the contact on the switch here dictates how much the vibration is going to be. Because this is non conductive if you don't want to be conductive, but it can be if it's damaged that badly. As this get twisted in there, that little pin there, it goes in on the inside of it and push the cord down more and more and more, causing more electricity to run to it. So, on the, what is it? Here we go. This is the on and off switch, which has a copper plate or a zinc cover plate or copper cover, who knows. And the switch has a metal ball, but it's covered in plastic. So when it's on, it calls the connection between the neutral and the hot wire to activate. When it's off, it dislocate them. What determine that is the metal contact with the uh, copper in there. Even if both of these are coming here, coming to the vibrator or the transformer, or the core that's meant for, I had to take it out. The cause of vibration is still not active until you do a full close connection. But anyway, electronic stuff. I'm out.